Hey, it's Chris from the Blockade Pinball Podcast, doing a Let's Play video of the Williams Pinball app. This time around, we're going to be doing Medieval Madness, five-minute challenge. Uh, we'll be playing in the advanced category. Uh, again, basic, advanced, pro, premium. Most of my videos are going to be probably from the uh, basic or advanced, just because they're easy to cycle through and I can get to ones that I haven't done recordings of it for cheap. Rather than five coins, I'm not spending five coins to uh, to do more of those. No way. Plus, I hate spending the tickets. All right, enough of that. Um, so here we go. Medieval Madness, five-minute challenge in advance. The point requirement is 23760000 million, seven hundred and sixty thousand, um, which doesn't sound like a terribly large amount. Um, it kind of depends on how your game goes. If you get some castle destroyed right away, or if you can get uh, uh, a good selection of uh, multiple uh, multi balls. When I say multiple multi balls, I mean uh, you know having you know joust and damsel going something other than just a single multi ball where you only get two balls flying, uh, not many targets to hit. So we'll see. It's kind of a hit and miss. Let's find out what my strategy is on this one, huh? Hold the left flipper. That's the main thing. I'm gonna hold the left flipper on ball launch, bring that around. If I can hit, I tend to try and go for the joust. If I can hit that, or hit that, that gives me a hurry up. If I can lock it into Merlin's, that'll increase the hurry up to 3 million. Boom, now it's to 3 million. Now I'm gonna try and hit the castle of the And I'll be well on my way, right off the bat. Boom, there you go. Quick points right off the bat. Now, because this is five minute and I'm not concerned about draining the ball, I can shoot the center all I want. Which is what what I want to do. It's not happening, but what I want to do. There we go. One. Oh well. Like I said I could care less about draining now. And up again. There we go. Two million for that. The next one will be worth four million, six million. Sure. And by the very nature of constantly shooting for the gate, you're going to hit the trolls. Again, I don't care if I light them up, especially with uh, Baldurin's not counting against me. That's the only problem with trolls is they'll cause your ball to do center breaks a lot. You will never defeat Francois de Rim. Well, yeah, I will. So with medieval madness, the, the one danger of doing a dead pass uh, from that left side is sometimes it'll go like I don't know, like your flipper's made of grease, and it'll just slide right into the center. And other times, it'll bounce in a slingshot over to the right flipper. So don't always count on doing a perfect dead pass. The right side, however, will always perfectly dead pass. I will reduce you to fresh fries. So keep an eye on the clock also. We're down, we've got three minutes left. And I'm kind of in no man's land right now. I don't have anything going towards a good multi-ball. I've strictly been trying for the center gate. And at this rate, I'm going to need three gates in order to close. Great. I, I would need at least three gates in order to uh, beat the challenge now. If I don't get any multiple going on. Yeah, so four million, so the next one is worth six million. Which again, that would only get you 12 million total. So I need to find an attack. Let's get rid of these trolls. Feel free to use troll bombs, uh, because you're not going to need them. I, out of habit, don't use them, but if you really hate hitting trolls, then you... I'm just in the habit of saving them for my new battle for the kingdom. There is a doorbell. 
<laughs> I can't hit that last girl to save my life. Gonna say. There we go. All right. So I've got two minutes, and I still need. What is that? Eight million. Which, even hitting another Sunder Castle, that's only going to be worth six million. So. Worth something. Let's see. Get me. 200 mil, 200,000. The good news is, the trolls just keep on resetting, so maybe we'll get back to pick up the trolls. Oh, lost the multiple. Well, a minute and a half, and I got 6 million to go. Which is enough that... Okay, so here you go. I'll get six million for destroying the castle. So let's destroy the castle. Don't choke! Uh, I'm choking. Come on, come on. Oh my god. This is just... Palms are getting sweaty. There we go. Okay, game over. <laughs> See what we get for coins. Do we get double ups or just a single? <coughs> just a single. 100, 100, uh, 100 tickets, though. That ain't bad. That'll buy me a couple of premium plays. Four to be exact. Um, <laughs> isn't it amazing, though, how, like, I don't know, choking is such a real thing when it comes to those pressure moments. Interesting thing that I've discovered, and I'll do this now and then. I'll turn down the volume. Turn it, like, all the way off so I can't hear it. The music, the lighting, it's all trying to pressure you to fail. And so it's one of those things where if I can eliminate one of those factors, obviously you can't eliminate the lighting, but if I can eliminate the the, the music that's trying to get your heart racing, um, that, that countdown style, if you can get rid of that, your mind becomes much clearer, and you just play as normal and you go... Um, and then as soon as I've hit my goal of what I was needing to do, in this case, if I hit the uh, hit the, the castle destroyed, turn the volume back on, go back to playing as normal, because the other thing is you don't want to miss certain audio cues. But I found that as uh, work. So in that instance, there we went. I, the only multiball I got was troll multiball, which is a hideous multiball. Because <laughs> um, there's not a lot of points available to it, and the trolls are blocking everything. But it was three castles destroyed, and that'll do the trick on that. Um, when you get into, like, advanced, you're going to be needing 29.7 million. Um, and then it goes to 34 million, and then 39 million in premium. So, th I mean, again, in a five-minute challenge, that be starts becoming an issue where it's like, okay, three castles ain't going to cut it you also need some legitimate multi balls. So in those instances, that's where I start being concerned about all my center drains and uh, and trying to, to at least prime the table for the chance of getting a decent uh, couple multi balls going on too. But that's how you should approach medieval madness. Uh, definitely if you're playing just on the advanced challenge, it's kind of, kind of basic in that vicinity. Um, all right. Wow, I'm looking at I'm just looking at something. Truth be told, my old point totals, it does indeed show that uh, Zen has lowered the points because I'm now re realizing that we were playing that in advanced, and the old point total for the basic five minute challenge was twenty four point seven five. So it's even less than what the basic was. That's on advanced. See, Zen, Zen was kind of kind on this last update. They they heard people's cries of, it's too difficult. Well, that's why you're watching these videos, aren't you? That way it's not so difficult anymore. All right, hey, please subscribe to the channel. That way you can be notified every single time one of these videos comes out. And uh, for good purpose, log into those. And I usually give notifications about on Twitter when, uh, when videos are being posted. Doing them daily. 
currently. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm usually pretty good about these things, though. All right. Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Blockade Pinball Podcast. Pay attention. Bye-bye.